That just kind of started happening because I was listening to piano players like Booker Little and Dr. John, and they had this cool, like, kind of shuffly thing. You know, kind of like this loping thing, as opposed to like the, you know, shredder sweet picking that we all know and love. So I was just trying to cop, like. Something like that kind of feel, yeah. you know, figuring out how to do that on guitar. And piano players are just so good at that kind of, that roll, like piano roll, you know? Yeah. Figuring out how to make that happen on guitar. It's hard on this, everything's hard on this guitar, but this guitar just sounds good, so it's fun to play, <laughs> even though it's a challenge. <laughs> Um, I started out as a, as a blues and classic rock guitar player, and um, I always kind of loved and was fascinated by jazz music, but I had never really quite understood how to apply the stuff that I knew to this new st style of music that I kind of fell in love with. But um, just like anything, you know, you start doing it, and then, and then you do it, and you figure it out. It's not like the academic part of it uh, necessarily has to come first. Sometimes it's like, you know, you start and then you figure it out. You know, I have students now that ask me, like, how do I do this? And, you know, there's no better answer than, like, you just start doing it. And then at least you know how to ask the right questions. Um, as opposed to just like, you know, where am I? Where do I go from, from nowhere? Right? You got to kind of just get on the path and start, start walking before some of these things happen. Um, but uh, from, from, you know, players like Eric Clapton and... Jimi Hendrix, Jimmy Page, I found Stevie Ray Vaughan. I was a, a, a huge Stevie Ray fan, and he's still my favorite guitar player. I think he'll, he always will be. Um, and then from there, kind of found players like Jimmy Herring that were combining some of the stuff that I knew with some stuff that I certainly didn't know. Um, and then on to players like John Schofield and Pat Metheny and Kurt Rosenwinkel, people who were playing more modern jazz vocabulary. So I kind of fell in love with it all and tried to piece it all together in a way that, you know, felt honest to me. And that, you know, I took what I liked from each kind of genre or player and, and just, you know, uh, left what I didn't like, you know, or what didn't speak to me quite as much. Um, rock and roll and guitar is like you know the 
you can study the lineage of the genre through the instrument. And jazz, you can't quite do that. Um, jazz takes you off of the guitar pretty fast. You know, when you start studying people like Lester Young and John Coltrane and Miles Davis and Dexter Gordon and Hank Mobley and Bill Evans, um, you're off the guitar pretty fast. But it's just, it's all music. It's all, it's all you know, what we hear and what we feel. And, you know, it, it, you, know you do it long enough, you start to, to feel it and hear it. Well, you, he you hear something they played and you say, oh, wow, that's beautiful. And, you know, you, you, it's not that immediate thing of like, oh, I know what fret they played that at because they didn't play it at any fret. It's more that you, you hear the melody. You know, it could be a vocalist, it could be a piano player, it could be a horn player, it could be a drummer. You hear something that they played and it inspires you to pick up your instrument and try to recreate something similar. You know, it's like, um, it's like you are uh, transcribing the vibe. You are like, you know, saying, wow, that player, they always do something surprising. And I love that. I love that sense of excitement from that surprise. Let me try and play like that. Let me try and play with a little more sense of surprise. You know, whether it's Keith Jarrett or Bill Frizzell or whoever it is, you know, that's what you're going for at, rather than maybe just the actual exact notes. I like this chord because it sounds good over many different roots. You got that? You got this? You have this? The root could be... B flat. You know, it, it's a yeah. I like that chord. <laughs> cool. Thank you guys. Thank you. I hope it came out okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.